ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கண்டினியூவிங் வித் வேவ் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் போர்ஷன் ஸோ இன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி ஃபினிஷ்ட் டெல் அவர் ரிசால்விங் பவர் அண்ட் டாப்ளர் இஃபெக்ட் ஆல் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் வி லேர்ன் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி அபவுட் த போலரைசேஷன் ஆஃப் லைட் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் போலரைசேஷன் polarization of light means so if we should cons- if we are considering a light wave okay a light if i am considering source of light it will be vibrating in all the directions okay it will be having vibrations in all the directions so this vibration if i am restricting it to a single direction to only to a particular direction if i am considering that is called a polarization the phenomenon of restricting the vibrations of light into a single direction that is called as polarization so what is the after effect of polarization the intensity of light will be reduced see uh, if we are using uh, let's say we are inside the room or inside a, a glass window see glass windows are there but we are there inside the room glass windows are there we are next to the glass windows and one person is standing outside the glass window so uh, what will be the difference of light intensity of light which we, both the persons were getting the person who is outside will be intensity will be more and the person who is inside inside the glass windows they will be he will be getting only less less intensity will be less hot will hotness will be there but uh, intensity of light which he is feeling will be less listen it outside means see if we are using an umbrella so what is the difference we will be feeling that hotness but the direct influence of sun won't be there listen it intensity will be less it will be reduced isn't it so that is what the, there and all we are there in a polarized polarization is happening for the light rays so we know the light ray means it is an electromagnetic wave okay so electric wave will be uh, in one direction and magnetic field will be in the other direction and the propagation will be in the opposite in the perpendicular to both electric and magnetic vectors so here this electromagnetic wave so light ray we are considered it as an electromagnetic wave electric vector magnetic vector and the propagation both all or everything will be perpendicular to each other isn't it so we know electric vector i am considering means it's a vector we can divide it into suppose if i am dividing it into y and z components and magnetic vector also i am resolving it into y and z components so i am taking the superposition of these waves so i will be getting along y direction and z direction so that one i am representing it in such a manner see in the two directions one is in the plane of the paper and other is perpendicular to the plane okay so in a plane if i am considering so it is a source of light which is observing in all the direction electric vector and magnetic vector and resolving into its components and those components if i am superposing each other i will be getting in only in two directions electromagnetic vector so electromagnetic wave i am considering it in two direction so this will be the representation of an unpolarized light okay this is an unpolarized light if it is a polarized light how it will be so this also a representation of unpolarized light only okay so after polarization its intensity is reducing that means any one component only will be existing other components will be blocked over there so that is called a see either this one or this one in one component will be existing that is called a polarized light okay so this is an unpolarized light this is a polarized light either perpendicular component or parallel component will be existing over there okay so here an unpolarized light is coming 
so an unpolarized light is coming and first it is passing through one polarizer okay i am considering a polarizer which is having lines like this okay this is p1 first polarizer the uh, the crystal which is used for making it a uh, its polarization is called a polarizer we can use many polarizer nicol prism nicol prism is a from you making from calcite calcite crystal or i can use another polar other polarizers many calcite is another on one polarizer another one is quartz crystal quartz crystal all these are polarizers so any polarizer i have i can use so first i am using one polarizer which is in this direction here the this one means it will be like this i can represent it like this also unpolarized light so and i am using another polarizer in this way p2 okay so it is passing through these polarizers so the line which is passing see here all these are the blocking the light rays these through holes it will come out okay so it is these are parallel to each other that will be blocking the perpendicular components will be coming out so which is having this holes so that will be so if i am restricting like this see if i am taking two pens see suppose here suppose see this is an unpolarized light if i am choosing okay in all the direction it is moving okay so if i am using a prism which is like this parallel components like this if i am considering and if the light ray is coming like this see only this green which is parallel to that one will be coming out isn't it all others are blocked over there it can't come out okay so those parallel lines only will be coming out okay so these parallel rays parallel component alone will be coming to the side okay so the next polarizer also the same way parallel so there also this parallel components will be coming out okay so parallel to this will be coming out next see suppose i am changing i am slightly rotating this p2 first i am doing it like this what will happen intensity of the so here and here intensity will remain the same but if i am rotating like this again intensity will be reduced because here the polarization is like this isn't it all are not parallel to each other then if it is coming exactly perpendicular to like this what will happen no light will be passing through this medium it's fully blocked okay so that is so these are called as polarizers so the first one which we are using we can call it as polarizer and the next one second one is called an analyzer okay first one is the polarizer and the second one is analyzer okay so what will be the intensity of light which is passing through the analyzer intensity of light passing through the analyzer will be directly proportional to the square of cos of angle between the plane of polarization polarizer and the analyzer so if the plane of polarizer is like this and the plane of analyzer is like this theta okay so if both are perpendicular to each other cos 90 zero intensity of the transmitted light from the analyzer is directly proportional to the square of cos of angle between the polarizer plane of polarizer and analyzer this is about the intensity of polarized light from the analyzer that is directly proportional to cos square theta so this is known as law of malus malus law so malus law states that intensity of the polarized light is directly proportional to the square of cos of angle between 
the polarized plane of polarizer and the analyzer so understood how we can find out the polarization intensity of polarization okay so the polarizers which are we call prism quartz crystals all these are the polarizers okay so next we are going to study about the polarization by scattering and reflection next is polarization by scattering so we know it is compare if the light the scattering element which is causing the scattering element scattering that is called a scattering element that scattering element is very small which should be comparable to the size of the scattering element should be comparable to the wavelength of light isn't it so it's like that if one scattering element is there and the unpolarized light is incidenting on the scattering element that is this is an unpolarized light or we can re represent it like this okay so if a scattering element is falling like this the scattered is falling on the scattering element then the scattered light ray will be polarized only if it is perpendicular to this plane that means along x axis and see if the scattering element is falling scatter uh, unpolarized light is incidenting on a scattering element which is in y z x z plane and the plane polarized light is unpolarized light is falling in x axis unpolarized unpolarized light is falling through y axis the scattering element is in x z plane then the light ray which is passing through x axis and z axis will be polarized lights all others will be unpolarized or partially polarized lights okay this is polarization by scattering so through y axis unpolarized light is coming and which is falling on a scattering element which is in the plane x z then through x axis and z axis what are the which are the lights which are coming through x axis and z axis will be polarized lights okay understood how we are representing this polarization by scattering next is polarization by reflection okay the reflected light how the polarization will be happening so it is a medium so here the light ray unpolarized light is incidenting in this medium okay unpolarized light is incidenting in such a manner and it is getting reflected and it is getting refracted also okay so when while this is happening the refracted ray unpolarized it will be okay but the reflected ray will be polarized if these two are at an angle 90 degree okay if this is polarized then the angle of incidence this angle of incidence is called a brewster's angle or polarizing angle brewster's angle brewster's angle so the angle of incidence of the light ray if the reflected ray is a plane polarized light or fully polarized light that angle of incidence is called as brewster's angle or angle of polarization also so in some uh, books it is given as angle of polarization also but you are you are textbook is ncert only right so you should follow that one that is theta b angle of incidence of the light ray if the reflected light is fully polarized in that case the refracted ray and the reflected ray will be making an angle 90 degree so we know with this is angle of incidence this is angle of reflection refraction this is angle of reflection okay so we know that see i am representing it as x o y p q okay we know angle p o q plus angle q 
QOY equals 90 degree. So here angle POQ. If I am considering this POQ, this is 90 minus R, right? R dash, reflection I am taking it as R dash. Okay, this is 90 minus R, angle of refraction. So 90 minus R dash plus 90 minus R that is equal to 90 degree. So this one and this one I am getting cancelled. So we will get it as 90 equals R plus R dash. So this plus this here we are getting it as this, this is angle of refraction. R is angle of refraction and R dash is angle of reflection. Okay, so here I got it like this. Now we are considering about the reflection, right? So, but we know angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Okay, that also we know. Okay, so instead of R dash, I can write it as theta B. Because angle of incidence here we took it as theta B. Since angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection, I can write it as R plus theta B equals 90 degree. So what is angle of refraction? That is equal to, so I can write it over here, R plus theta B equals 90 degree. So what is angle of reflection? 90 minus theta B. If n is the refractive index of the medium, then I can write it as n is equal to sin i by sin r by refraction. Okay, so sin i, i is theta b divided by sin r, sin of 90 minus theta b. What is nine, sin 90 minus theta b? Cos theta b. Sin theta by cos theta b is tan theta b. So, n is equal to tan theta b. This is called as Brewster's law. Okay, theta b is called a Brewster's angle. According to Brewster's law, the refractive index will be equal to tan of Brewster's angle. What is this Brewster's angle? It is the angle of incidence where we are getting the reflected ray as the completely polarized light. Okay, so in between 0 and 90, if we are considering, it will be a partially polarized, isn't it? See, it's not compulsory, either one should be there, then only we can say polarized. See, when we are about, when we told about the rotation of analyzer, okay, when we told about the rotation of analyzer, analyzer was, uh, it's, it's, it's while it is moving. What is happening? Intensity is decreasing. While the, in the stage where the intensity is decreasing, that stage we can consider it as uh, this, um, it is partially polarized. Not unpolarized, not fully polarized. It is partially polarized. Okay. In between 0 and 90, we can consider that angle. So clear, understood what is meant by Brewster's angle, what is law, Malice law, reflection and scattering. Okay, clear? So these are the theory portions of this chapter. So in next day, I will be coming with some of the numericals of this chapter and after that we will start the electronics. Okay, so I hope all of you understood all those things and if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.